Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to talk about a very interesting topic in algebra which can be applied to any kind of science class, chemistry, physics, you name it. And it has to do with the direct and inverse variation of one variable upon another. Sometimes we use the terminology like y is proportional to, directly proportional, inversely proportional to some other variable. And to illustrate what we're talking about here, I have a little example. Here it says y varies directly as x or you can also say y is directly proportional to x, another way of explaining that. And then they give you information such as when y is equal to 3, uh, x is equal to 12. So how do you do these problems? Well, it turns out that you have to turn a proportionality into an equation. So let me explain how that works. So here we can say that y is proportional to, so that symbol kind of indicate varies directly or indirectly to, or is proportional to, in this case, x. And so in order to turn that into an equation, we have to use what we call a constant of proportionality, and we use typically the letter k for that. So let k equal d, what we call the constant of proportionality. Well, that's a, that's a mouthful in a way, proportionality. Hmm. And that means that you can take something like this, where you can say y is proportional to x or varies directly to x. You could write that as y is equal to kx. So to turn proportionality into an equation, you have to add this, um, this constant of proportionality. So you multiply that into your variable in order to turn into an equation. Now, to figure out what k is equal to, we're going to plug in 3 for y and 12 for x and solve for k. So when y is 3, that's equal to k times x and x will then be 12. So what does k have to be to make 3 into a 12? Well, let's divide both sides by 12. That isolates k, so in this case k is equal to 3 over 12. Now that we have a constant of proportionality, we can now plug that back into our equation, and now we can write that y is equal to 3 over 12 times x. And there's our equation. Now we can apply that to something else. Now if you give me a different value for x, I will give you a different value for y. So for example, if x is equal to 24, if x is equal to 24, then we can find the corresponding y. So y, when x equals 24, is equal to 3 over 12 times 24. Of course, 24 divided by 12 is 2. That means y is equal to 6. And so there's an example of how you solve these kinds of problems. Okay, so again, to, to summarize, they give you some information where they show you that y is proportional to x or y is directly uh, related to x. Then to find to turn into an equation, you need a constant of proportionality. To find what that is equal to, you plug in the items that are given to you, you solve for x, uh, in this case for k, and then you can have an equation that you can then use to find other values for y when you get particular values for x. All right, so now that you've seen how to do that, let's come up with a bunch of examples and show you how to apply that.